This is Zafar Ali from the Zafar Tutorial. So today's my topic is about the introduction to literature and what the literature is. So today I will talk about the literature. So first of all, why we study literature? So I am giving you the idea why we st study the literature. So here the literature, first I am going to tell you about some definition of literature. Literature, what's literature? Any piece of writing that has the artistic excellence. Artistic excellence is a word, it's a term which I am defining that the term, it means the art which give us excitement, joy, happiness. So we study literature because it's give us happiness, joy, excitement. That why, that's why and information, that's why we study the literature. So literature is not, this is only a literature. This is not enough for a literature definition that it only give us excitement, joy and information. So here the, a book of literature means that it has a aesthetic excellence. Means aesthetic excellence means are the beauty of expression. A book which has the beauty of ex expression of thoughts, expression of ideas. The book in which the expression of aesthetic expression or beauty of expression means the beauty of thoughts, the beauty of ideas, how the and we convey our message. So a book of history, biography, natural, uh, natural science, religion, politics. Even it is about the many books about related to history which give the aesthetic or beauty of expression. That's a literature. Simply it's a literature book. And non-literature book is that which give the idea of scientific or logical thought that not related to the beauty of thought that is called the non-literature book. So you must know that a book of literature means which give us a aesthetic player or aesthetic accident or the beauty of expression. So here you know why should we study literature means it give us knowledge with the excitement joy player. So that's why we study the literature. So now and other part why we study literature we study literature because it is reflections of our society it reflects our society what happening in your society for example it's a novel about anything which is your related to society that's why we st study the novel it reflect our society that these are things which happens in our society in recent so that's why we study the literature and a short story. It also reflects a society. That's why we study the literature. And other literature is the presentation of life. Here the presentation of life means it gives us a knowledge about life. Means what we have done in past and how we can good in the future. It, it tells us the literature. So it gave us joy in life. For in life, literature give us joy, happiness, excitement, sorrows happening. How to deal with the joy, excitement and sorrows, happiness. It What it tells? It tells the literature how we deal the life, how we spend the life. If you if you start if you read literature books you can know if you for example read a poetry book you must know that in deep poetry when you are reading a literature poetry you know that it gives you the rational it becomes it giving it making you the rational that it give it also give you clear it uh, make you rational you can become you have a knowledge about the society and about yourself about the creation about the natures if you read the poetry that's the literature why that's because of that we study the literature so that's the that's the main thoughts because of that we study the literature. Now the what's the literature is the definition and pure thoughts of literature what is literature. So anything written in any piece of writing that is a literature simply means anything written in book that is a literature 
that's the definition of literature so literature is a fine art it's a fine art like a music music is also related to the literature dance that's a literature painting that's a literature sculpture that's a literature as it mean to give aesthetic player these are the literature when these these things give us the aesthetic player player so what is aesthetic player the term here the aesthetic player means the internal happiness when we read when we watch the mu when we listen the music when we watch the dance when we sculpture the painting it give us the aesthetic player means internal happiness that's why because of that we study the literature so literature has many things many things which give us the benefits so music give us the aesthetic player when we listen music it calms our minds and heart and our body that's why we love to listen the music and the dance when we watch the dancing when we watch any dancing so it what it is giving it's giving the it's giving uh, the happiness to our eyes that's we why that's why we watch the dance so painting for example a girl is making a painting of anything or a beauty or a scene scenery the painting of scenery so we are watching her hands that's how beautiful the scenery she made that's why we watch the painting when we, when we watch it, the painting in deeply we feel the feel her internal internal mind or internal thinking of the girl why she make make this painting for example a girl making a making a painting of injured man so means when uh, his thought is the girl's thought is that when she make a injured man's picture means it scare the cares the mans it cares the patients that's why it's, uh, she make the painting of a injured man so it's uh, also literature so it is it's we when we watch the, the painting of an injured man we feel sorrows so when we for, feel sorrows when we hit, uh, when the sorrow hits our our mind that's painting become a literature so it's give a aesthetic aesthetic player aesthetic player also give us sorrows feels a sorrows and a player means happiness so this term can include with the excitement joy happiness sorrows and death excitement joy all think about the aesthetic period means internal feelings which you absorb now the another definition art from which we get excitement so for example i i have already tell you about the dance and music so art it's a art music and art so dancing is art painting is art so which give excitement for example when we listen a music it give us excitement for uh, for example it's a dramatic song it's giving us happiness means it's a drama it's a like a drama and other is love song it's give you the internal player to your heart so and other song which is said when you become sad or when you or girlfriend leaves you you listen to love the sad songs so it give you the give you the calm that's why you love to listen the songs, uh, sad song so that's it's a art which that give you the excitement that's why you love to uh, you love to write or uh, sorry you love to read the literature it gives you idea about your life about your society and what i told you about it give you the internal happiness so literature is very vast so in the next literature in the next lecture i will tell you about the types of literature the next literature will be held on the 
uh, on the next Tuesday. So wait for the next lecture. So if you don't have a, a yet like my video, so uh, like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.